Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a lip sync animation for your Blender's 3D avatar. If you already have the facial morph like this, now you can see this facial parts, this 3D avatar, I already have the facial morph to open the mouth like this. So how to create and generate any of the lip sync animations just by using an audio file. I already have an audio file. This is a voice record. Hi, my name is Jayla. I am from Blender. Now, this is really a voice file. It can be MP3, it can be WAV, etc. This is a voice file. And then, the blend shape, the shape key already here. So, the first step to create the lip sync animations is just to move this up. And then move your mouse cursor here, drag it down. Then move up a little bit again. Then move your mouse cursor here to drag it down. Now it's separate to three. Then the first one, change it to become the graph editor. The second one, change it to become the video sequencer. And then next, in the video sequencer, just click add to to just add a sound and the sound is on my desktop the voice wav i double click then try to play hi my name is jayla i am from blender right now the voice file is ready and the next step is the graph animation the graph editor from here you click and make sure you already click click the 3D mesh that related to the mouth opens shape key. Then make sure at the beginning it is zero. And then under the value here, you click click here to make it generate a graph here. Next is click here. Next, we are going to import import the audio file to convert it to become a curve here. So you have to click here, click this, then go to the channel, then you have to find bake sound to F curve. Then also select and import your voice, double click it. Now you can see it already import the sound as the curve. Now you can see it is at here. And then look at here, the maximum is one. So you have to make sure the pick approach one. Before that, you have to make sure you already select it. Then go to the channel. Then find unbake the curve. Once you unbake the curve already, click here and press A to select all. And then you press S to make sure you can change the size. And then at this moment, do not click it first. You press Y to make sure you only increase the magnitude on Y axis width. Again, I click and press A and press S, then press Y. Then I drag drag until it increase the, the magnitude. Then I press G, I can move it, but at this moment you have to press Y as well so that it only lock to just move along the Y axis. Now, you can try to play. Hi, my name is Jayla. Right here, you can test. My name is Jayla. I am from Blender. Hi, my name is Jayla. Right. If you see everything, no problem already. The next 
what you can do is just go and render. But before you render it, of course, you have to set the lighting. So if, if you want to move the whole timeline, let's say you want this avatar to start talking at the 40th frame or 20th frame, you want your avatar to start talking at here, let's say the, 20, the 23rd frame here. So actually, you can just press A and press G to move it. And then at this moment, you have, have to press X to make sure you move along the X axis and make sure the first point is starts from 23rd frame. At the same time, you need to move this to 23rd frame as well. So now you try to play again. You back to the 0th frame and try to play. Hi, my name is Jayla. I am from Blender. All right. So now everything start from here. You can change any positions if you want to let this avatar to start talking at certain time frame. So it is really easy to, to render it. Once you already finished set up of the lip sync and also already finished set up the graph, the next step is to render. All right. To render, I can just keep all this minimized. Minimize everything here. To render it, I'm going to move my mouse cursor to here and drag here up, drag here out. For this, for this window, I'm going to change it to camera view. But now it doesn't have any of the camera yet. So if you have to click add a mesh, sorry. You have to add a camera. You find a camera here, it is here. Add a camera. Then, this camera, once you click and select the camera already, you change to local. And then, you move it here. Just switch to camera view. You move your, your camera first to focus on the face, like this. You can rotate the camera as well if you want. Just rotate it. Click here until you focus your camera on the avatar's face. Then you can start render. Before you start render, you have to set the lighting. What is the effect of the render? You have to click here. This is exactly, exactly the lighting and the effects when you render. So now it is too dark too dark, you have to make sure you add some lights. But to add some lights, I prefer to just use the sky texture. I move my mouse cursor to here and drag one more to change it to become the shader editor. Under the shader editor here, I change it change to the word. And then now you can see it doesn't have any of the background color yet. I drag out, then I here, I type sky texture. All right, now, by using the sky texture, you can switch to different, different color. So I'm going to use this. Next, I can start render. But which time frame that you want to render, you have to select from here. I try to play. Hi, my name is Jayla. I am from Blender. So. The last frame should be here, 106, so it is going to end at 106, and press enter. Next, we can start render. Before you start render, you have to click here, under the render, sorry, it is under the output here. Make sure that you scroll down, the file format, you change it to FFMPEG video. Then, under the encoding, you have to select the audio. The audio, just choose the MP3. If without set the audio codec, then your render video will be no sound. So now I'm going to render. The render locations will be will be under the temp folder later. So now, of course, I can change the output folder. I'm going to change it to desktop. 
and I click accept. Then after finish render, it is going to save the video on the desktop. So now, before I start, I can just save the blank file as a backup. Control Shift S to save a new file. The sample, this one, I'm going to name this as demo01, save. Once you already save it, you can, you can render it, click render, render the animation. Wait. You can just cross it to just deselect it because here it still have something that, that's still there that I'm going to delete. Delete everything unnecessary so that it is not going to render it out. So now I click, I save again. And then I click render, render the animation. Then it is going to render frame by frame, just like that. It is going to render frame by frame and you have to wait for a while. You have to wait until it stops. You can see, now I keep on dragging this. Now I can see how, how much it is finished render. The end point is at here. Just have a look. The end point is at here. So we need to wait until it finishes at here. This is the ending point. So it just left a few seconds for render, rendering parts. Then you can check your video later. Now done. Once already finished render, you can check your video. You can close this. The video is on my desktop here. I double click and try to check the video. This is the video. Hi, my name is Jayla. I am from. All right, now you can see exactly everything. Everything okay. Hi, my name is Jayla. I am from. So from frame one to frame 106. If you want to re-render it, of course you can cho you can choose here again. Try to play when it stops. I am from. So now here, if you drag, and then you can Hi. view which one is the My end name point. is Jayla. I am from Blender. Hi. So now, if you want to let it start at frame one, one two three, it is a complete conversation. Just click again, click render. Render animation. Then it is going to render again. So we are going to wait until it finish render it is. For me, it is just waiting a few seconds to one minute. It is going to finish everything. It depends on your computers, but if you have a high-end computer, it will render really fast. Maybe just five seconds, it will finish. But for me, this is a gaming laptop. It may take one minute. Right now, it's almost done. This is the second render test. We check it again. Double click. Hi, my name is Jayla. I am from Blender. Right, this is the full video render and everything look nice. And this is the way on how to create the lip sync animations and render as a video. Actually, you generate the lip sync animations from your voice. You can just use a voice recorder. You can use a microphone in your computer or your laptop to just record a, an audio file can be mp3 or wav and generate the lip sync if your 3d avatar already have the 
shaped key, the open mouth shaped key, or the jaw skeletons, the mouth skeleton, then you can just generate the lip sync in this way. It is really easy to create a 3D animation like this by following this tutorial. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful Hi. to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!